Hello and welcome to episode 33 of my Salem tutorial series. This episode is going to be on making a coal pile or coal clamp I should say. That's what the game calls it. Now before we begin I want to show you an ultra rare item that you can get every time you light a fire or anything else that is lightable. It is this, a precious soot flake. Now, I've been playing Salem for a while now, and I'll tell you, I have lit hundreds of items. Campfires, baker's ovens, stoves, you name it, I've been lighting it. And this is the first time I have ever seen a precious soot flake. So there we are, ultra rare, but you have a possibility of getting one every time you use a tinder to light your fire. What I will do is though, I will store that for later use, because as you can see, it gives a nice 2000 to sparks and embers. So I'll save it for another time. Okay, let's begin. We will need to learn the skill coaling because in the future we will need many charcoal. Charcoal charcoal has lots of uses. I will show you the uses as they become relevant to us. But one common use of course is they can be used for fuel for your um, kilns or fires and especially your smelters. But anyway we'll use them as they become relevant. To learn coaling we will need 200 hammer and nails and 615 sparks and embers. So let's bring this up and let's show you. So if we look in our list there is coaling. You see it's white, easy to learn and there's the skills that I've just shown you. Now to achieve this, we will study one flaming pine cone. So very easy to do. So here's our pine cone. What I'll do, I'll pull it there and remove the scales. Now on the subject of the scales, just quickly, this is something else I've been wanting to mention to you, but I keep forgetting. These pine cone scale, scales, okay, whenever you split the pine cones like we just did, did you'll see you get loads of them now you may get sick and tired and keep dropping them all but they have some brilliant uses first off the first good use for them they can be used as fuel on your fire and on your kiln so the fires fall let's show you one quickly with the kiln if you shift right click you can add them all to your kiln but another fantastic use for them, especially in our early days, is you can use them for filling up your bins. Now, I know it only gives 0 0.5, but you're going to get loads of them as we start to use them more and more. So it's an excellent way to keep your compost bins full up. See, and there we go. And I'm not going to use my food. So there's some excellent uses. Also, you can make the inspirational, the lumberwood figurine using them. So bear that in mind, never drop your pine cone scales. What I do, I've been, all my surplus, I've been just storing in these. And I don't care if people steal them, good luck to them. They can have them, they're welcome to them. So never drop them, always use them. So there, that's the good uses. Right, let's make this flaming pine cone. Trouble is, of course, I've just split that pine cone, so now I haven't got it to use because I wasn't thinking properly. But luck would have it, I have another one. So, right, to make the flaming pine cone, remember, just right click it on the fire. Remember, it will disappear after a few minutes, so we're going to study it completely just so it's not wasted because I've got so much inspiration, it's not even funny. So, let's study. Hmm. Hmm, that's strange. I thought it had given us enough. Anyway, let's study the rest. Mm. Now, so mines and mountains it can't be giving us. No, it's not. Okay, well, we can use a stone for that. So one flaming pine cone and one stone. Let's just increase that. Hmm. 
Because like I say, it will disappear in a minute. Mm. There we go. So I've got a free use. Okay, so we're looking for one stone. Now, I believe I've got a stone up here in one of these. Strange, you know, because when I checked, I'm sure the stats must have changed for the flaming pine cone. Because when I checked, according to the wiki... Uh, I know, though, the wiki is getting a little out of date. We can't grumble, though. The game's free to play, so it doesn't really matter. I know somewhere. Here we go. Right, so let's study one of them. Oh, let's eat. Eat some more. Hopefully that should be enough. Hmm. There we go. Let's learn coaling. So, as you can see, one flaming... Pine cone, one stone does the job. Okay, now what I do want to do is just quickly drop this off, this precious soot, because I don't want to lose that. Okay, that has now unlocked coal clamps for us. So if we go to build, you will now see coal clamp. The coal clamp is um, what we need in order to get charcoal. Now, the coal clamps can be built anywhere you like. They uh, do not suffer with the same issues as the timber piles. Although, obviously, do not build your coal clamp near a timber pile. Otherwise, you'll get a load of mouldy boards because it's a structure. So, I'm going to... I flattened out all this land over here. <clears throat> so, let's make mine over here. Now, again... Because I'm building it off my claim, there's a chance that when it's um, finished burning, that people can steal from it. Good luck to them. I'm going to make about four or five, or maybe even 20 of them if I go crazy enough. They can steal what they like, not to attach to them. Anyway, in order to make a coal clamp, we will need 20 wood blocks. So, let's make a coal clamp. So... You, we found it here, just to show you once more, go to build, and then it's straight there, coal clamp. Needs to be on flat ground, but luckily I flattened all of this out. So let's build it just there. Okay, so now left click, put one in, hold the left shift, and then just scroll your wheel, and in they all go. There we go, how simple is that? Then click build. Okay, so, a couple of facts about the uh, coal pile, the coal clamp. It will take three real-life days in order to finish burning. So on that note, let's get ourselves a tinder so we can light it. Because you... Now, what I will do is tinders do fail quite often, so I'll get four. That should do the trick. Okay, so the first thing you have to do when you've built your coal clamp is light it. So get a tinder drill, right click on the coal clamp and you'll see it will try to go through and light it. Excellent, there we are. So you'll see when it's lit you see smoke rising from it. Can you see that? Ever so... There you go, you might be able to see that, hopefully you can. Anyway, so there we are. So it will take now three real life days for this to burn out and give us charcoal. When it's finished burning out, you will know because when you right click on it, there'll be an option to harvest charcoal. Okay? For, for each of your coal clamps, you will get between 39 and 59 charcoal per pile okay so i say to you make about five of them minimum it's only 20 wooden blocks i know your trees are going to suffer but i've already told you which trees to cut down so at least make about five that way in the future you will have plenty of charcoal and you won't have to keep worrying about waiting three real life days for them to finish you can see with the items in this, like the timber piles are five days, the charcoal 
clamps, the coal clamps are three days, the haystack, oh yeah I didn't mention that to you, look at our haystack now, remember it was dark green, now finally it's dry, if I right click on it I get an option to collect hay, you can know that it's right because it gets the golden colour of hay, so there we are. Right, that about concludes this episode. Not particularly long, but I just wanted to make sure that you've got at least five coal clamps on the go so you'll be prepared for future episodes. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode on coal clamps. Goodbye.